In this lesson we'll be making a very simple gathered skirt and I'm showing it here with the blouse we made in the previous lesson. What we're going to need is two yards of fabric. This is two yards that have been uh, folded over. And what we're going to do is make sure that it's long enough to go from your waist all the way down past your toes. And you want it to be well past your toes because when this is gathered up at the waist it's going to get a lot shorter. So you want to make sure that it's plenty long enough. And all we're going to do to get started on this first skirt is uh, have it folded over to where the, uh, the less desirable side is showing. And then we're just going to sew the two ends together. Okay, so we're just going to start up at the top and sew the whole length of the fabric. So now that we've sewn the two ends together, what we're going to do is take the top of the skirt and we're going to fold the whole thing under where it's leaving about an inch and a half. And we're going to sew along the bottom of this so that it creates a pocket where we can run a drawstring. And we're going to sew around the whole top of the skirt and create our little pocket. This is going to involve a lot of sewing. So now that we have our pocket sewn up at the top of the skirt, we can run our drawstring. And what I'm going to use as a drawstring is just some twine. Now you can get this at Walmart usually for around five dollars and I'm not sure it's the best thing to use but I use it because it's, uh, it's pretty durable and it's also very easy to run through, uh, through the pocket using just a crochet hook. So we're going to do that now and we're going to start by making a couple of slits in our pocket so that we can access it and get our uh, crochet hook through. Just want to make about a, a half inch little cut right there just so we can get our crochet hook through. And what we're going to do is do another one on the opposite end of the skirt because it's hard to get the crochet hook through the whole length of the skirt so we're going to make another little little cheat slit on the opposite end of the skirt again just about just about half inch just make a little loop at the end of your piece of twine and that way we can hook it around the crochet hook and get it pulled through the skirt and what we'll do is just get the crochet hook through the, the little slit in our pocket and you're going to run it through the whole length of the skirt. This is fun because you're basically trying to get a whole yard of fabric onto one crochet hook. It might be smarter to get one of those really long crochet hooks, but I don't have one, so I'm going to use my, my short one. So what you want to do is once you get your crochet hook through to the other slit, is take your little knot of twine, loop it around there, and then very carefully Pull it back through your little pocket until you get to the other end. Ta -da. And then what we're going to do is make sure that stays put. Go around to the other slit. Put your crochet hook through again. You're going to have to cram all that material onto your crochet hook again. All the way to the other end. Grab your loop again. Oops, don't lose it. And pull it all the way through. So now the two ends of your twine should be meeting up. Okay, so now we have our drawstring running all the way through the pocket at the top of the skirt. The two ends are meeting here. And what I'm going to do, one side has already got a loop in it. I'm just going to go ahead and make a loop in the other side. And this will just give it a little size so that it won't be easily lost inside the skirt. And you'll want to cut enough twine to go through it so that you can have it all the way stretched out and there'll be a little excess. And then now you can just pull the drawstring and you can see how it makes your fitted skirt. Let's try it on. Okay, so now we can try our skirt on. 
And as you can see, it gathers really nicely at the waist, and our little drawstring is just hidden inside of it there. And what we want to do now is get an idea of how much we want to hem under. And I'm going to need to hem under a lot because as you can see, it goes well past my feet and I step on it when I walk. So uh, just kind of uh, play with it, maybe pen it and see, uh, see how much you're going to need to hem. Now that I know where I want my hem to be, I'm going to sew it starting about an inch from the bottom. And this excess material here, I'm just going to cut off after I'm done sewing. we have a blouse and a skirt, we have the humble beginnings of our Renaissance costume. To give it more of a peasant look, a sash can be added around the waist. Stay tuned for our next lesson, where we'll be making a waist cinch. It will be a little more difficult, but I think we can do it. Thanks for watching!